Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Bo. Yet another one of those guides about how to do things in Mountain Blade Warband. We walked over to Demo Dude for this one because the point of this is to show about troop movement and general tactics for both land battles and siege battles. Now you're lucky because I need to take this castle anyway and we got, looks like a dude here. Let's go see what we got here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to make peace. Screw that. All right, charge the attack. So what I want everyone to do is kind of just hold their positions for a moment, okay? Now what you can do, which is kind of cool, is these guys, let's take a little look. Let's at the back spakes. They are going to charge out, so that's no problem. So let's look at archers, okay? So archers are there. Now, I don't have to move to do anything. I could say, hold this position. Hold. See, so look at this. Bam. You can actually hold F1. So in this case, I hit F2, archers, right? I want them to move. So movement order, and you can move them anywhere in the field you like. Now, I prefer to keep them over here simply because, oh man, they are, they are just not very smart, are they? Um, so infantry wise, what we're going to do is get our infantry go. So we'll press one for infantry. We want to charge out that infantry a bit because normally what I like to do is get my infantry in front of my archers because the archers, they're kind of squishy. Um, and of course the cavalry, if we wanted to do this properly is I'd sit that cavalry way out to the right or left of my crew. Cause I want to make a multi tier attack. I want to make sure that when we're attacking, that I have all my archers in the back, that I have infantry in front of the archers ready to charge, and I have that cavalry off to the side, because I want to come in from the back. Uh, that would be the optimum. Okay, so that's very quickly how to do that. The big part, big takeaway from this is using the F1 keys or to move people around without actually moving yourself. That's a pretty big one. Let's go and take a castle. So, Mr. Kai, we're going to take a castle. Okay, so, <coughs> yeah. It's a castle. Okay. So we're going to besiege the castle. We're going to build... I hate freaking siege towers. That's okay. Don't worry. That's why I have this cheated one. Do I want... Yeah, sure. Whatever. I don't really care. I'm going to have their thing real quick. <laughs> it's already joining me. All right. Uh, so what's up is you have a couple choices. You can obviously sit here waiting, but if you got 30 days to wait, I don't think so. Hell no. You could order your soldiers to charge. But that's stupid. So we're going to lead them in assault. Problem... You're going to run into when it comes to these sieges like this is that you're got to have people pushing the siege tower thingy. That's the problem. So let's get our infantry up front. I want to make sure that I have all of my infantry up front because I'd rather them take shots at infantry who have shields than my archers who do not have shields. That would be a solid, awesome move. Cavalry, they're not super useful in regards to uh, sieges simply because they, they pretty much the reason cavalry is awesome is that you have that horse. And that horse gives you almost twice the hit points, gives you a lot of mobility. Like, that's good stuff. Well, you don't have that now. So we have a whole bunch of archers. So what I suggest always is making sure that you as the person being the archer extraordinary. My archers are pretty much good to go. But no, don't, don't, don't press that, please. Okay, so... Let's see if we can get them to kind of just fall in right in a bit there. As I hit them moving around, because they seem to be dicking around and moving. So if we can spread those guys out a bit, they'll stop dicking around back there and actually start shooting. And we can spread them a little further around. So here is what I always suggest. If you can, get up there and... Okay, that's going to be really tough with a baby on my hand. But you want to take out as many of the archers that are going to be shooting down into your siege tower as possible. Because when your guys are up there, it's going to take a while for them to get in. Okay, so you want to make damn sure you take care of as many archer types as you can. You're really going to get your archery really high doing this. Ah. So remember, I also have a pretty good mix of folks going here. You're trying to give me kisses, guy? <laughs> okay. You have a pretty good mix here. Where we got a lot of archers. We got a lot of infantry. Uh, and that's what you kind of need is a nice mix uh, on sieges. Uh, Rodox, especially. I mean, if you can do Rodox, they are amazing at sieges because of that crossbow, man. Those crossbowmen just reduce troops to nothing. They are super effective. All right. Uh, let's see. Anybody else? Oh, there's one. Donk. 
So just keep your eyes open and keep moving. There are, might be places and times where you can't oh, do jack. Right. That's right. Uh, that's <laughs> God. Yeah, dude. So we need to make sure we get our... Ah. Oh, are you eating God. the microphone right now? Are you eating the microphone, Kaito? Hi. Hi. Oh, that would be my hundred and fifty dollar mouse that just fell on the ground. That's great. Okay, don't don't touch the button, dude. You can do anything you want. Just don't touch the button. Okay, there you go. Just just stop. Stop. Don't touch. No, 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 no. Stop. Stop touching. Okay, stop it. Talk like here. Talk here. Oh God, arm is getting a crazy. Pro tip for you guys with babies, don't let them, try to get them on your left arm, not your right arm, otherwise you will have issues with uh, mouse control. Not that I say that that's a huge problem, but you know, just in case you're trying to siege, make sure you don't have a baby on your arm. That would be a solid, oh, oh, you're mine. Oh, 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 Whoa! Oh, Jesus, guy. <laughs> okay, okay, fine. Here, here. Take it. Jesus. All right, we got one arrow left, which is pretty good. Let's give it to somebody. Ow! Now, here's your choice. You can either let your troops get in there, because if you get knocked out, you're basically over, right? What I like to do is, if I can, I get in there, and I just try to open up a spot. And I get it. Fuck out. Oh. Oh god, I'm screwed. Okay, so be it. We're in here now. Okay. Get in from behind. Hopefully they tunnel on your dudes. Uh, what I'm using is a huge heavy hammer. The reason I like the hammer is because the hammer will scrub through shields really fast. Come on. There you go. It hits really hard, too. You normally only have to one shot, and regardless of. Obviously, have a little bit more uh, strength and power strike, but uh, I prefer the heavy hander if I can get my hands on it. I, I like crushing through blocks, crushing through shields and whatnot. Uh, we're uh, come on, come on, yeah. Luckily, they're kind of channeling on my uh, other guys. Oh God, oh Lordy. Okay, in this case, I mean, you're not going to get up. The oh, fuck. Okay, let's see if we can maybe find some... <laughs> Don't say that word, Kai. I'm sorry. Uh, all right, so they're not... They're channeling. Let's see if we can take care of the... And the other one I like doing is the pop and rock, which is just pop in there and come back. Get the guys longer there. And then boom. And boom. All right. Obviously, there's probably some skills I have that I think you could don't on a normal one, but it doesn't really matter. I mean, you'll you'll see. Guys, right, stop pressing the red button. What's that freaking red button? Ah, we gotta hide out. Someone's got our number. Oh, they're way up there. Okay, let's check the status of our battle. We can always check the status of a battle by pressing the backspace button, and we'll bring this menu up. As you can see, we've got only 30 enemies. <laughs> Jesus, we destroyed them. Uh, we're losing some people thanks to those crossbowmen because man those crossbowmen are they wreck your balls big time uh, Especially if you get plugged up here. They're just gonna start taking shots at you All right, so let's see if we can maybe do a little something something. Oh, no. Oh, they're coming. Where are they? Oh, they're coming up the little stairs Got some stairs <coughs> Yeah. Oh, here we go do, 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 do. I've got some stairs for you. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. Oh oh. Uh oh. One this. One this. Who do you? Can you do that, guy? Can you say that? <laughs> That's right. My little Dovahkiin in training. He's so cute. I love him. Okay. So this guy is obviously not a normal character. I mean, the whole purpose of Demo Dude is to uh, demo things. So don't get all hung up on that, but it's the tactics is why. So making sure to keep your shield guys ahead of your archers as much as possible. 
make sure that at the time of charge, you have to make the choice of are you going to get in there? Because in the native one, if you get knocked out, I mean, they just kind of run the battle without you, which can be good or bad, uh, generally bad. Um, so that's a decision you're going to have to make. Uh, my suggestion is to pock, get that, get long ranged something. You're going to need to get some form of archery because you, you're going to absolutely want to be able to take care of those guys so that you don't lose a lot of folks to the, the siege tower. Okay. So we are, yeah, you're taking my, you're my damn prisoner. I'll take every single one of them I get my hands on. Hell yeah. This one's to me. I don't have to hear anybody bitching. <laughs> Manage the garrison. We'll dump all these guys in there. I don't think anyone's going to screw with 50 knights and a whole bunch of archers. That's a good call. All right. So another one for the kingdom of Bo. Well, at least the demo kingdom. Hell, we only got one or two more to go. Look at that. Look at that, Kato. Woo! All right, guys. That's a general idea of how to do... Basic battles and sieges in Mountain Blade. Um, Mr. Kai was very helpful. By very helpful, I mean not very helpful, however. Being that he's almost two years old in a couple days, I think we can let him pass. So, all right, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. And we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. 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 Ah! Okay, bye.